This collection selection is the Cold Steel Tanto, six inch Tanto, and it was the very first expensive knife I ever bought. I bought it in 1987 for $115. Shouldn't toss this aside, I'll show you that in a sec. $115 at Remington Knife Company at Randall Park Mall. Don't know what steel it is. It's got these beautiful brass fixtures made in Japan. This handle material, uh, almost 30, uh, yeah, over 30 years old, is uh, not degrading at all. It's nice, still nice and grippy, but not uh, not coming apart. Not degrading. This beautiful brass butt cap with its off-center lanyard hole. Love that. And that beautiful blade. When I saw this, I was in high school, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it must be mine. And then adding to it, my best friend told me all of these myths about this. Yes, it's made for the CIA. It can punch through car doors. And I thought, man, that is definitely prerequisite for a knife. Better be able to punch through a car door. Especially if you're in the CIA, man. You're not going to use any bunko knife that can't go through a car door. This has never left my bedside since I got it in 1987. It went with me to college and went with me to everywhere. It's been with me everywhere. And uh, it's always in my bedside table. beautifully deeply hollow ground. When I first started making Kydex sheaths, I attempted to make one for this, and I jacked up the, the beautiful finish that I had maintained for so many years on this thing. Oh well, live and learn. The sheath is starting to really show age, and this Velcro is just all but useless. It works a little bit. But I always thought that this little angle here was a bit... Anyway. All right, there it is, your collection selection for the day. My first expensive knife, the Cold Steel 6-inch Tanto from 1987.